All right, all right. Hey, it's your favorite political innovator, David Washington, and it's the David Washington Show. I know it's been a while. It's been busy. It's the election cycle. It's about five days left until the election, November 5th, 2024. So I'm coming towards the end of my year. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know what I mean. And uh, I take stock of what's going on in my life. Um, I set my one year, five year goals and um, personally and professionally. A couple of weeks ago, I came across an article. I believe it was the Guardian. <coughs> excuse me, the Guardian. And um, it, it, it showed... <laughs> In the London tube, in the London subway, an ad, an ad, and I've got it somewhere. <laughs> I'm not even going to look for it uh, right now, but it was an ad of um, a wedding. Uh, and at the head of the table, uh, you had the bride and groom. And they were trying to make it look and ambiguous as far as, well, let me take that back. No, they weren't. It was a Heinz ketchup commercial uh, or ad. And it, it showed the bride, the black woman, uh, with uh, her mom. And it showed the groom with his parents. I, I got to find the ad. I got to find the ad to, to show you that. Okay, okay, okay. I found the ad. You know, why mess around? Let's just show the ad. And so you see in the ad, you had the bride in the middle, and you had the groom next to her, next to the groom. You presume it's the bride's mother, okay? And to her right, I guess, <laughs> or left, I don't care. But next to her is presumably the groom's parents. And what was missing was the father. And, and, and uh, Nails Abbey uh, wrote in the Guardian about this ad and uh, how it just plays into the missing black father trope. And when I saw this, I was like, God, God, oh, damn, really, really? And hey, it's 2024 and the dynamics of the family have changed. And I understand Heinz, um, their ad marketing team, you know, looking at, hey, families are changing. The traditional family of a mother and father uh, and children um, are changing. Man, woman, children, period. And even in this particular, you know, uh, ad, you have a biracial couple. You know, uh, that has become more of the norm to see biracial married couples. Um, if anyone knows, you know, history in America, that wasn't really a thing back in the mid-century 1900s. Uh, but we've grown as a society. However, by growing as a society, does that also mean kind of like playing into some of the stereotypes of the missing black father or missing fathers in general? You know, um, yes, there are audiences that are being targeted. I get that. I'm in marketing also. However, man, to see this, and I'm in the, I'm not in London. I have a niece that lives in Europe and lives in England. And I'm sure she's seen this. Uh, she's engaged to an Italian. Um, and congratulations to my beautiful, beautiful niece and her fiance. Um, however, man, this cat, it just hit. It just hit. And um, I had to, I had this particular episode in the queue. In, um, and in, in, on the back burner. And I wanted to talk about this particular 
uh, ad campaign earlier. Uh, however, with the election cycle being what it is, our schedules are freaking busy. You know, this has probably been the busiest I've, I've ever been um, with the JNW network, with our clients, both with uh, J&W and door to door. I, I can't believe how busy I am. And my doctor is like, my doctor said like, slow down, David, take a rest, you know, let the, let the bit of lie go, you know, kind of calm down because you need to reduce the stress and get your rest. However, you know, you all know, I love what I do. I love politics. I, I, I love the, the strategy. I love being the strategist. I love being the organizer of effective campaigns. And I'm glad I had this opportunity. It's early on Content Creation Thursday, and I thought I'll get this particular episode in because there's more to this that I want to discuss, particularly from the point of view of being a Black man in America, specifically addressing, again, the comments from the Kamala Harris campaign in her surrogates, uh, whether it's um, Magic Johnson or um, President Barack Obama, and more recently, a week ago in Houston, Michelle Obama, um, and, and just comments in general about men, and again, specifically about Black men. And I'm going to talk to that in another episode of the David Washington show that because that's probably the more uh, appropriate platform instead of you can make this shit up uh, because the David Washington show is more of my informed opinion about politics, about the society and culture that uh, we live in. Uh, also, what kind of pressed me to get this out here and specifically address this as a setup to the next David Washington show is that uh, I've been thinking about, uh, and so have, you know, the strategists, especially on the national level, uh, about uh, my role as a straight Black man here in America and its dynamic in the politics of today. Um, we all know, or those of us who are in politics, we know that the um, Democrats are bleeding men or have bled men, white men, for a long time now, a long time. And that soon, soon, we're going to see more and more of Black men leaving the Democratic Party. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who has run for office under the Democratic ticket, he recently left the Democratic Party, and he has registered as a Republican and has supported a Republican against the Democrat who he ran against in the primary for congressional office. A well-renowned gentleman who is a wealth of knowledge and experience, and he's just tired. The Democratic Party has left him. And um, I'm going to talk to that, and I'll talk to that some more. That was Dr. V. Issa White. Check out his podcast that we did. We did a couple of TikToks that uh, one in particular got got someone in their feelings. Too bad. Watch the whole video. The whole video is uh, enlightening. Uh, but I wanted to talk about uh, about that in uh, in subsequent um, episodes of the D David Washington Show. But um, yeah. I, I I had to talk about that ad. It it, it did struck it struck a, a nerve, and um, you know, being a divorced dad myself, I miss my boys. You know, the relationship is definitely not the same when I I was uh, married to their mother, and I know how important it is to have men in their sons' lives, men in families, men to lead their families. Uh, I have three boys, three great boys. And uh, do I miss them? I sure do. However, every day I do model what good behavior, what leadership is as a black man here in America or as a man in America, as a citizen of these United States, as a human being. 
as a man of God. So um, stick around. Uh, he'll be a little bit more uh, informed opinion from yours truly. And I really, really appreciate uh, you all. You know, I'm going to listen to a podcast that I have up on my screen here. Uh the uh, New York Times, the Daily, uh, man, they, in this great timing, um, they're going to talk about black voters and the Democratic Party. Here we go. We'll see you the next time. This is the David Washington Show. Hey, hey, hey and don't forget, please like, share, subscribe, and more importantly, comment. I love the comments. I really want to hear what you have to say and let's engage in respectful and tactful conversation. I'm David Washington and this is the David Washington Show. We'll see you.